Hello everybody, Andrew Bermudez from Digzy AI. You can find us on the internet at digzy.ai. We make amazing sales software that helps you see what your sales reps are doing. It helps the sales reps do their job better, easier, without having to do a ton of data entry. So if you're looking to blow the doors off your sales at your company, check out digzy.ai. We do offer a free trial. So that's enough for my plug on this. Uh, but I do want to talk about an interesting topic, and it's the fact that um, a lot of people ask, you know, what sucks the most about uh, raising venture capital or angel investment. Um, and you know, if you're a first-time entrepreneur like I was several years ago, um, it's really tough to, you know, you have no credibility. Uh, you know, if you did well at your past business and you've got some entrepreneurial chops, amazing. Uh, we're a technology company, so it helps the fact that I used to be a programmer and things like that, and I had a track record of building software. Uh, for my own purposes when I used to be in commercial real estate. Uh, but at the same time, you know, people hadn't invested in me before. Um, there, there really wasn't anything that I could prove. So I had to learn a lot. Um, one thing that uh, worked out very, very well for me and I would advise uh, anyone I get to know about this is seek out, in, uh, seek out mentors and people who have raised money before, who have raced recently in the past five years, maybe seven years, uh, five years is probably my cutoff personally, and then uh, seek out advice from you know angel investors and venture capitalists. You'd be surprised. I mean, the ones that are really active are very very helpful, and that helped out quite a bit. But what sucks the most, it's not actually the raising of money. Uh, and I can get I'll talk more about how to raise money in another episode. Uh, if you guys want to really really me to accelerate that episode, just leave a comment here at the bottom and then I'll respond or and throw a thumbs up, but you know, until I hear that people wanna know how to raise money and things like that, I'll just do it when I can. Uh, but the thing that sucks the most is the, the amount of time it takes. So raising a round of funding can, you know, if you're fast traction, you're on the searching, could take a month, uh, but on average it takes six to eight months to raise capital. So, you know, half a million, a million, whatever you're trying to raise. Um, but it's really a time away from your business because it, it's a full-time job and what that means is that you're not looking at product that doesn't mean you're not looking at anything and you really have to get a, get, have a good support system at the company for example my co-founder Alex does a very very good job at helping run the team and Patrick on our team is amazing as well so he runs operations and uh, these two individuals together are just incredible they make the thing run as if I didn't even exist. So <laughs> kudos to you guys, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Uh, we, The company wouldn't be able to do anything without you, Alex and, and Patrick. Uh, but really, it's, it's that time away. Uh, so for example, when I go into, into, into capital raising mode, what I do is I wake up super early. So I'll wake up at five, sometimes 4.30, uh, make sure that whatever the team has sent me throughout the day, uh, maybe the marketing department needs some information from me. I get that stuff done in the in the morning, and then I usually I have a list of meetings for that whole day. So usually it's not uncommon for me to have meetings from 9 a.m. all the way up to about 6:30 p.m. Uh, meeting with investors and meeting with existing investors and giving them updates on things like that and showing them the product and the traction we've gotten. Uh, but I think the thing that hurts the most is actually the fact that you're out raising money and you're not focusing on the business it's almost like you know that raising money is a huge huge advantage for your company but at the same time uh, you're not taking care of the baby it, it almost feels like you need to be at two places at once but you can't so that's been the hardest thing about that and what really sucks is you just you know for the time that you're out fundraising you don't get to chat with the team you, you kind of get you almost feel a strange at least for me uh, but I try to keep in touch with my team via Slack or stop by the office and do all that. Um, but I've learned to manage my time pretty well. So usually, uh, before I start fundraising, usually um, I usually already have investors I want to put money in, in, in the company. So uh, I'm able to go in and quickly close around. Um, and uh, I don't know if it's luck or if it's just um, you know trust or what it is. But we're very fortunate in that end. Uh, that we're growing that way, but yeah, I mean taking a time away from the business is the hardest thing and uh, You know feeling a little desolate because you're out on your own raising money while the teams, you know working you know, heads down and uh, You know you want to communicate how appreciative you are uh, of Everything that they're doing and you just don't have a chance because you're out meeting with people pitching and things like that 
I would say for me personally, at least, that's the hardest thing uh, that I have to go through when I have to go out fundraise. Uh, anyway, uh, would love it if you guys leave a comment below. Please do so. I try to respond. Would love to hear from you guys and other things. Maybe you have questions that you'd like me to uh, share my thoughts or experiences. If I don't have thoughts and experiences, I'll just mention them in the comment. Uh, but uh, if you do like this video, please throw a thumbs up and at the same time, uh, subscribe. Uh, we post multiple content uh, that can help your business and also share entrepreneur stories and war stories and things like that that hopefully can help you with your journey in, in the business world. Uh, and also, if you can, would love it if you uh, share this information on social media on your LinkedIn, on Twitter. There's a little share button here at the top when you scroll over the window. Just click the little prong looking guy and uh, share on the social networks. Uh, we'd really appreciate it from you guys and thank you so much for all your support. And I'll see you soon with another, uh, another CEO, startup CEO blog. Thank you so much.